Following your visit to the Museum of National History and the follow-up blog on the topic of dental ergonomics, I got additional mail asking me regarding the topic of ergonomics. Now, fortunately, our real dendo faculty, Dr. Jerry Zimmerman, uh, who practices in Long Island, New York, recently had an experience with a physical therapist and author, Dr. Bethany Balehi, uh, which he shared with us. Boston, Massachusetts, and Rebuild Endo headquarters welcome to this first episode of The Root of the Problem, Why Ergonomic Matters. I'm joined today by Dr. Jerry Zimmerman from uh, Long Island, New York, Rebuild Endo faculty and clinical assistant professor of endodontics at the Stony Brook University and clinical endodontist practicing in Long Island, New York. Jerry, thank you for joining me. I'm also joined by Dr. Bethany Balehi, physical therapist and author of the book Practice Dentistry Pain-Free, Evidence-Based Strategies to Extend Your Career. Bethany, thank you for joining me. Jerry, let's go to you first. I remember you telling me about some time ago about some ergonomic issues uh, and postural issues that you had while practicing dentistry that then resulted into you contacting Bethany and asking her for some services and some help. Uh, can you uh, share that? Uh, with us, what happened, and tell us what uh, what was the story. Sure, um, I, I had been a practicing endodontist at that point for about 30 years, and I was having some neck and back issues, and I, I found that I, I couldn't work as long as a day, of a day as I used to. You know, I'd work four or five hours, and then I'd have some problems with fatigue and some back and neck pain. So I was registering for the uh, American Association of Endodontists meeting, and I noticed that uh, Bethany uh, Balaki was going to give a lecture at the AAE meeting on um, ergonomics and endodontics. And this was about six months away. And I decided I really didn't want to wait. So I, I called her to see what she could do prior to that. And uh, we started off by her asking me a, a kind of a medical history, what, where my problem was, what kind of pain I was having. And then what we did is uh, my dental assistant took pictures of me actually working to see if I was seated in the right position if I was using the right equipment and that kind of thing. And uh, we went through a whole bunch of things and we went through my posture while working. I wasn't seated up straight enough due to my equipment. Uh, you know, my chair wasn't adjusted the right way. It was important that I had a chair with armrests. And then I use a surgical microscope when I'm doing endodontics and the microscope that I had wasn't really adjusted or didn't have the right parts for me to use it properly. So we've investigated uh, adding uh, different things to the microscope. I was using a global microscope and also a GEDMED microscope at the time. And with the global microscope, we were able to add extenders onto it to bring the microscope uh, further back so I could sit up straight and not uh, bend my neck. And we worked on patient positioning as well. And we went through all these things. And I found after doing that and doing some of the exercises she recommended, uh, after a couple of months, I was back to working eight hours a day, you know, you know, without a problem. And that was, um, you know, approximately three years ago. And, uh, you know, I've been going strong since then. So I kind of extended my career and I hope to work, uh, you know, quite a number of years from now. That's, that's terrific. So, Bethany, it seems like you, uh, you've certainly saved uh, Jerry from all of the problems he was having. Bethany, I understand you've prepared a short um, presentation for us regarding ergonomics. Uh, why don't you just go ahead and share that short presentation with our viewers? Yes, Ali, and thank you for the opportunity to be here this evening to share with you. And uh, it's true, dentists, uh, two out of three dentists experience pain in this profession. Um, and the specialists themselves do have different pain patterns as well. In fact, endodontists experience the highest rate of shoulder and arm pain of any of the specialties. Hmm. So uh, humans tend to be, uh, tend to not take action until the body is screaming. So every dentist knows that once the body is screaming or once you have the painful episode, that structural damage has likely occurred. So taking prevention through ergonomics can help uh, prevent the structural damage before it occurs, before you have the painful episode to help you extend your career, uh, improve your quality of life, and uh, increase productivity, actually. 
And we know that the primary risk factor among endodontists is prolonged static postures, and this is what tends to cause the most damage in the body. So of the microtrauma that occurs every day in the body due to these prolonged static postures, the most damaging one is muscle ischemia. So during static work, the muscles tend to be in a contracted state. It can occlude the blood flow to the muscles, so they don't receive oxygen and nutrients, and only a fraction of the needed blood flow is actually delivered to the working muscles. So this is a huge problem in endo, one that is exacerbated by long procedures such as root canals. And so we need to address this, and we address this in my six-hour lecture and in the book, um, through numerous uh, ergonomic strategies, through specific exercise, through chair side stretches, and uh, other things as well. We know that uh, ideal working posture would be ear over shoulder, in, over hip in an ideal world, but the world of dentistry and endo is not an ideal world. So it's important to know what is a safe limit. And we see that in this photo that Research tell, tells us that forward head postures greater than 20 degrees are significantly associated with neck pain. So in endodontics, this means we have to look for ways to m modify non-ergonomic microscopes. In this case, this is an older uh, global microscope, and we added a horizontal extender to get the doctor into a more neutral position. So this is one of the biggest problems I see among endodontists is the uh, non-ergonomic older microscopes that need to be modified. So um, doctors could ask their sales reps about this. Um, we know that the patient also needs to be positioned properly for upper versus lower arch, for upper arch. The occlusal plane needs to be vertical. And in, at the dental school, I have my students take the mirror handle and place it on the occlusal plane to, and visualize this from the side to make sure that the patient is properly positioned for the particular arch or tooth they are working on. Um, of course, the assistant having their own soap will optimize ergonomics as well. We also know that the microscope, when it is angled away from the operator, can really compromise ergonomics by causing forward reaching with the 